Automobiles and tractors often share the rural two-lane highways across Idaho. With close to 13,000 miles of two-lane roadways combined with we're becoming more of an urban population of subdivisions all around us and so traffic has increased but a lot of people who just aren't familiar with agriculture equipment and what it takes to move them down the road. In South Ada County near CUNA, farmer Neil Durant deals with scary commutes almost every day. When they get stuck behind a tractor going 20 miles an hour they think it's going too slow and they take every opportunity they have to try to get around you even though at many times it's not safe. Statistics show Drivers need to be alert and slow down when approaching farm equipment. Statistics, that's what they show a lot of farm implements get hit from behind because people aren't realizing that they're going 20 miles an hour in a 50 mile an hour zone and they come up on it a lot faster than what they think. Motoring around tractors is also a bad time to mess with your phone, which is illegal in many states. And you see that driving down the road. People are, are on their phones, have it up to their face, looking at it. You know, it is illegal in Idaho to text and drive. But you still see people with their phones up and not paying attention to what's going on. And, and when passing is possible, Farmer Durant recommends... To me, I would like at least three or four feet away from the equipment going around me. But many times they can't do that. Many times they're driving off the shoulder of the road trying to get around you. I know when we're always moving equipment down the road, we always, when there's a safe spot, we pull off to the side to let cars pass us. But there's just a lot of impatient people that I think that just don't understand or misinformed of what it takes to pass. Equipment dimensions can vary, but in general, it is all too wide and long to stay in just one lane. The equipment we have behind us is a disc ripper that we use uh, primarily for working up ground. Uh, this one's 16 feet wide, and your normal road, your lanes on your road are 10 feet wide, so we're overhanging three feet on each side if we're driving down the middle of the road. And we're about 30 feet long. Durant's operation has added flashing lights on equipment to be more visible on the roadways. It's not required. It's something we do for our own safety and just trying to let people know that there's something there ahead of you. The more lights on, something that they see flashing or moving, reflecting, it kind of lets wakes them up. Speaking from experience, Neil Durant is passionate about road safety. So about eight years ago, I was driving the tractor down the road at dark, and I was lit up, had the lights and everything on it, and uh, turning into a field, and out of nowhere, I got hit by a guy that was driving a minivan. He was drunk and ended up pushing the tractor about 10 feet sideways. I ended up herniated a disc in my in my back. And, um, it wasn't a very fun experience, but it made us start realizing that we've got to put a little bit more things on there and maybe have a pilot car behind us. Even though with this accident, we were told even if we did have a pilot car, we probably still would have gotten hit. But that's been one of my worst experiences. I hope no one else ever has to deal with it. Be alert. Be patient and stay alive when driving around farm equipment. For the voice of Idaho Agriculture, I'm Steve Ritter.